It had taken nearly three decades to transform Miss America from a local celebrity to a national phenomenon. But making her a household name would take just one night. Now, ladies and gentlemen. September 11th, 1954, when Miss America would be crowned live on national television. The pageant's board of directors had asked former Miss America, Bess Meyerson, to provide backstage commentary for the viewers at home, and had even invited Academy Award-winning actress Grace Kelly to judge the competition. Plenty of excitement out front, too, Bess. Just a while ago, the judges announced the 10 semifinal... Now, as the cameras wheeled into position on Atlantic City's convention hall stage, ABC sent out the broadcast signal and television audiences coast to coast joined the Miss America finals already in progress. The only time I really noticed the camera was we were waiting to have the crowning. I saw a television camera and it was coming toward us. So I thought, oh, it's, it's time. And, and then I saw Lenora Slaughter, uh, the head of the pageant, bringing a banner over and she put it on my lap. She said, Lee, you're our Miss America. 19-year-old Lee Ann Merriweather of San Francisco, California. My head flipped back, and that is all I remember. And uh, I was crying hysterically. Crying, crying, I couldn't stop. But I do remember my mother being pulled backstage, and my mother said, stop your sniveling. <laughs> and that did it. More than 27 million people Nearly half of the television audience watched the Miss America pageant that night in a broadcast that broke all records for TV viewership. To think that folks out in Idaho could see this was just amazing, one pageant volunteer recalled. It just knocked everything off the airwaves. The Miss America contest was something that seemed very glamorous to all of us in the 30s and 40s and 50s. But all we ever saw of it were snippets on newsreels and movie theaters. And then suddenly, when television happened, here was this fabulous event. And in that period, it was incredibly popular. When you look at old black and white television, now it looks so prehistoric. But my God, it was free. It was in your house. You could watch it. And it changed everything. The Miss America pageant, brought to you by Philco Corporation. Whose research by the second broadcast, the pageant had been redesigned for TV and a celebrity singer and announcer had been hired to serve as the regular master of ceremonies. The 40-year-old star of a popular TV program called Stop the Music, he was known to audiences across the country as the guy with the smile you can read by. His name was Bert Parks. Bert Parks. Thank you very much. Thank you, good evening. What a wonderful audience. Bert Parks came along at just the right time. And his ability to be funny, to be extemporaneous, to be silly, uh, and yet at the same time allow the women to be the stars of the show was a perfect uh, series of ingredients that the Miss America program needed at that time. And this, of course, ladies and gentlemen, is Miss Oklahoma. Yes. From what city, please? I'm from Alva, Oklahoma. Alva? Alva. What is the population of Alva? 7,000. 7,000. <laughs> what is Alva most famous for, Miss Oklahoma? Wheat and cattle and my daddy's bakery. <laughs> the Golden Trust Bakery, call him up tonight. <laughs> I don't know if he would fly today, but he was really into the girls, the women. And that's what made Burt Park so different. He wasn't a celebrity flown in on a Saturday night. He was there all week getting to know them. They trusted him. He loved what he was doing. And uh, he really was one of the defining factors that made households and television households love Miss America. And when he sang, There She Is, that was it. There she was. Now, Miss America of 1958, there is the runway. Say, are your subjects? 
Making its debut right alongside Parks was the official Miss America theme song. Composed in just under an hour by a New York songwriter named Bernie Wayne, the song was an instant hit. It would soon be as recognizable as the national anthem. For she may turn out to be It evokes a wedding with Burt Parks kind of giving away the, the bride, um, or in his youth, he was more of the groom. It evokes a debutante ball. There is this real sense of suddenly being the most beautiful woman at the ball. And so there is the sense that this could happen to anyone, at least that's the fantasy, that this could happen to any girl. We didn't see a whole lot of what it was like to be an American woman. This was our little window into what it was like, uh, uh, what this world was like. It was a way to... I don't know, climb the ladder of success. And so, you know, it was like watching a female version of a Horatio Alger story. I had no knowledge of the pageant really at all. I knew that there was a Miss America pageant, but I thought it was a quote unquote bathing beauty contest. And as such, I would never have entered. And then my father passed away. And just my life sort of stopped right there and my mother said you know the money is no longer here daddy's gone and if you want to continue on with school that's the thing go to Atlantic City beauty contests are ways that if you live in a poor neighborhood you can imagine getting ahead because it is a way up it is a way to scholarships to attention and it's one of the few things that you see out there as a popular symbol when I was uh, living in a kind of factory working neighborhood of Toledo, the Capehart television, Miss TV, kind of something like that, <laughs> was advertised. So I decided I would try to enter the contest, even though I was underage. I think I was 16 and the limit was, was 18. So I lied about my age. It wasn't a terrible experience. It was a surrealistic experience. You had to put on your bathing suit and walk and stand on a beer keg. I did, you know, three or four different kinds of dances, Spanish and Russian and heaven knows what. I thought I'd get money for college, and it seemed glamorous. It seemed to me in high school like a way out of a not-too-great life in a pretty poor neighborhood. <laughs> 